Hi, it's Virtual Media. This video to you. Uh, I'm just keep, keep recording one after one. Uh, so I just wanna show as much as I can. Uh, let's continue modeling. So let's go to the top view, transparent mode. And uh, let's just adjust these vertices down to a hood shape. So grab this one and just drag that back. And uh, this one goes around here, so we need to make one more cut. So rig it, connect, and uh, just slide that to here. And uh, I don't know why I haven't cut it all across it, but I can do that manually. So I just go down to cut tool and uh, just uh, make. It doesn't want to cut. I don't know why. So let me just check two edges there is some edges so I just want to weld these edges up as you can see now it should be much better uh, so let's just delete this and uh, let's make a cut again so I just want to go to cut tool and uh, there it is so after you've done that what you can do is actually let's go to the perspective view for a bit and uh, this is in too deep so you want to pull that out pull that out and this is everything else is good uh, so after we've done this we want to actually just go to the right view uh, we're going to detach this so let's just fix the vertices bring this one up this one down and uh, let's just try to round everything up a little bit just so to make sure that when we actually smooth this it won't mess our geometry up too badly so just trying to round everything up slowly there's something like that so when we actually smooth this as you can see still not round Let me just try to move this one up. There it is, that's much better. Uh, so after we've done this, we can actually detach this. So just loop through that chamfer. And he hasn't looped through. So chamfer 0 0.5. Actually minimize that to something like 0 0.2. Open. O okay. And uh, chamfer again. And uh, just deselect open. And when we go to perspective view, when we actually turbo smooth this, as you can see, we're getting this nice crease right here. As you can see. And uh, let's just detach this straight away so you won't bother us no more. So, detach. Okay. And uh, I just wanna, from this one, just wanna copy the symmetry modifier. Good thing to do. So, just paste the symmetry modifier on it. And a just kick turbo smooth on top of it. Okay, so we got this done. So render items are turbo smooth too, showing zero. So we we'll save some frames. Uh, now let's de let's actually cut the hood. So loop it. I don't know what's up with this thing. I haven't not welded properly, there he is. Uh, so, loop that, do the same technique, chamfer, keep the same settings, open, chamfer, and just deselect open. One new table smooth again. As you can see, we're getting this nice, nice crease here. And uh, let's detach the hood. So, detach, okay. So, paste the modifier again, and uh, like turbo smooth oops wrong one uh, so once we've done that we can actually hit alt Q and we're gonna get into isolation mode as you can see we see only the hood and uh, something is not welded again did you what, what select all of them hit weld and uh, just scroll down so 
so we'll just increase that by a little bit cancel okay uh, let's see edges let's try see what we can actually do as you can see now it's smooth there are some edges where it's gonna hit the edge select deselect my bracket and uh, what you want to do now is actually if we apply table smooth on 2 is it gonna be smooth enough so just go up select this edge loop it now actually let's do, let's do it a little bit different way let's do make a different approach add shell modifier just deselect that and that and uh, I believe it's going in the wrong way I need to go down there it is and uh, after I done that I can actually go to the collapse all collapse to sorry yes and uh, I still have my symmetry but what I can do now is uh, if I go back to the edible poly convert to edible poly uh, let's just add some constraints so select this one rig that should rig all around it so connect two segments just push them out by like 30 and uh, this one will we can actually add constraint here so connect connect one segment zero pitch and uh, just slide that and uh, the reason why we're doing this is gonna give us that constraint so rig through here as well connect keep it 95 uh, same through here as well rig connect and uh, just add a little minus here and that should fix everything up as you can see so if we actually smooth this out now see what we're gonna get as you can see we're getting this nice smooth hood so this is what we after this is good uh, so as you can see around the light is gonna be smooth which is good uh, we don't want nothing sharp there so if we actually paste the uh, symmetry modifier and uh, just apply table smooth Let's see what we're gonna get is we have to actually delete a few vertices here well not few quite quite wanna delete all of them so just give it give it a minute so the reason why we're doing that because uh, if one we, we smooth there is a crease in the middle of the hood and uh, that's really bad uh, you don't want nothing like that on your car <coughs> and, uh, oops one so delete that and delete these three so now when we actually smooth this out as you can see it's one nice shape so let's just call that hood exit isolation mode they've got a hood ready uh... let's uh... call this boom just uh... bumper actually add F in the beginning so front bumper um, let's go and uh, fix the side skirt here so add double poly I uh, just wanna move them all back oops you wanna add edge constraint before you do that so just something like that just select all three of them just drag them back and uh... rig connect and uh... slide something like so uh... keep the edge constraint on go to vertex mode and uh, just bring that in uh... now it's gonna be selected chamfer open okay chamfer deselect open it's actually very easy to do in 3ds max 7 it used to be much more difficult uh, because you have to delete them manually but so let's just non uh, detach and uh, let's call that 
F wing for the perspective view. Uh, I really hate when that happens. There is uh, so modifier panel based modifier and uh, let's actually chamfer the edges, these edges right here. So loop chamfer and just keep 0 0.21. Let's apply table smooth to it, see what we're gonna get. There it is, looks good. So something is wrong with the geometry, I need to check it out. Uh some vertices yeah. As you can see. Uh we need to fix them, so select all the bottom two, weld them together, and the top two weld them together. We need to quit them before we can weld them. That's the DS Max stupid thing that does. So let's do that once again. Delete this. Weld, there it is. So when we smooth it now as you can see, we're getting much more we're getting clean geometry basically. That's what we after. Uh this is gonna be on three to get this nice curve going. Uh so this is video two and uh that's what we're, that's what we're so far and uh, actually I'm gonna make a render and uh, just uh, click on a picture in the description and you'll see what how it actually looks when it renders out so I'm not gonna show it because of the time so yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you